on today's episode one of my favorite recipes using what is commonly known as gachpatha in bengali that is meat from the tree vegan green jackfruit curry that is cooked exactly the same way as chicken or mutton curry hi everyone namaskar and welcome to curries with bombi i am using canned green jackfruit as fresh ones are unavailable where i live discard the brine and wash it thoroughly with water Now I don't know why they do not discard this thick part but you need to get rid of that because it is tough and bit sticky and doesn't get tender no matter how much you cook so I cut that part off unfortunately my camera was angled in such a way that the cutting part went off frame I am the person behind the camera in my videos and today happened to be one of those days when I didn't position my camera properly and I apologize for that my dear friends Anyway, after cutting off the tough part, again give it a quick rinse under fresh tap water. Next, we need garlic, ginger, and a red onion. Add everything in a blender jar with a few tablespoons of water and blend. We need a smooth paste like this. We also need to make a spice paste. In a bowl, add ground coriander, ground cumin, turmeric powder, and red chili powder. You can substitute paprika for chili powder if you want to avoid the heat. Add about 4 tablespoons of water. Mix well and your spice paste is ready. Heat a pan on medium high heat. Oil Once the oil turns hot, lower the heat to low. Then as you can see, I have turmeric powder in one hand and potatoes in the other because you need to add the potatoes immediately after adding the turmeric powder to the hot oil or else it might burn and give a bitter taste to the curry. Increase the heat to medium high after adding all the potatoes. Take them out in a bowl once they turn a little golden brown in color. Next comes the whole spices, dried bay leaves and cumin seeds. Stir them on low heat for a few seconds to get them toasted. Then the sliced onions dive in. Add a pinch of salt to help the onions soften up faster. Fry the onions for a few minutes till they become little golden in color. Next add the onion ginger garlic paste, chopped green chilies, stir on medium heat until the paste looks dry and the oil leaves the sides. When you see the oil doing a little bit of that jig all along the sides, that is an indication that everything is well fried. and the next ingredient is ready to dive in so in goes the spice paste fry it for a minute and add the star of the show that is the jackfruit stir for a few minutes so that each and every piece of jackfruit gets a little bit of hug from that spice paste then in goes the fried potatoes add salt and fry for a few more minutes on medium heat. Do not add too much salt if you are using canned jackfruit like I am doing here. You can always add later if it seems less salty. Then chopped tomatoes enter the scene. Cover it on medium low heat for 5 minutes. Uncover, give a stir and add a splash of water. Again cover it for a few minutes. Now you can see the tomatoes have become well mixed with everything and have become pulpy. At this point add about a cup of hot water. Cover it on low heat for 10 minutes. 
After 10 minutes, check whether the jackfruit has become tender or not. There is still a little bit of resistance to it. I added garam masala powder and covered it for 5 more minutes. After 5 minutes, the jackfruit has turned tender. Do a taste test and adjust the seasonings. I again added a sprinkle of salt and then a sprinkle of sugar to balance the flavor but sugar is totally optional. Remove the bay leaves and everything looks perfect. You can even add some ghee at this point if you are not on a vegan diet. With all that stirring and pampering along with those spices, this tastes absolutely delicious and it goes so close to a chicken or mutton curry. Serve this with rice, roti, puri or paratha. This is Bumbi and thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.